greetings, respective viewers. I'm George from Ireland. Here I am um, in London on Chesterfield Street in the area of Mayfair. And behind me is the house where um, William IV lived uh, shortly before he became king. So it might not seem such a grand place for a prince and a future king to live. It's very central. He was, in fact, a rather unpretentious man, perhaps surprising, considering he was in an era of very haughty monarchs. So um, William IV, he was the third son of um, King uh, George III, uh, so he was born at Buckingham House, which is now Buckingham Palace, in 1765, his um, uh, father being George III and his mother being Queen Charlotte of, um, of Mecklenburg. I hope I've got that right. Um, so he was very much inclined towards the navy. He wasn't um, a roi fainéant like his brother um, George IV. Uh, so he, he believed in the active, uh, the active life wasn't sort of a, a artistic or, or intellectual. And he married um, Adelaide of Meinigen, um, this uh, German noblewoman. Remember, Germany is divided into hundreds of states. There were some kingdoms, which were quite big. There were some grand duchies. There were some free cities. Some some uh, states run by archbishops, Catholic archbishops, and um, there were um, uh, well, marks, as it run by a margrave. That's, that's a noble title, and on and on. Some counties run by counts. So there were so many um, uh, high-born uh, German ladies to marry, which is why, for uh, um, a couple of centuries, uh, the British royal family, the princes and princesses, mostly married Germans. Um, but obviously, all every royal family is actually quite um, uh, quite a mongrel one. Don't mean that in the pejorative way of European nationalities, because if a prince is to marry a princess, uh, he's got to marry someone from another another realm. So if a British prince marries a Swedish princess, yes, but then she's actually half Portuguese and a quarter Italian, and that so-called British prince is partly German and partly Spanish and partly Greek and all the rest of it. So they've got a complete mixed mixture of nationalities. Um, so a good antidote to uh, racism and chauvinism. Anyway, <clears throat> so became Lord, Lord High Admiral, was very involved with the Navy, which is why his name is the Sailor King. Um, but uh, he, there was no love between him and his wife, Adelaide of Meinigen. So he took up with uh, Mrs. Jordan, or Dorothea Jordan. She wasn't really a Mrs., this actress uh, from Ireland. She's from Wexford, uh, been a star turn at the Theatre Royal in Cork, which is now where the General Post Office in Cork is. Um, she the solicitor's daughter who came over here, made a name on stage here. So he lived a, a um, bourgeois lifestyle with her um, just in, 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 in um, Chelsea, or just off um, Sloan Square, near Sloan Street, and they had ten children with the surname Fitzclarence because his title was Duke of Clarence before he became king um, his, he was he's made a duke well, he and his brothers were made dukes by their father um, so Fitz being meaning you're, you're born outside of wedlock to him so he didn't abandon his children a very happy family life with them for quite some years they lived in Bushy Park he got himself the title Ranger of Bushy Park which is outside London the southwest near Hampton Court Palace notice Bushy Park is nowhere near the town of Bushy Bushy is in, is in Hertfordshire, that town due north of London, whereas Bushy Park is in, uh, well, I suppose you'd call it, uh, have to be um, Surrey, south of the River Thames. Maybe it's now absorbed into London. But Bushy Park and the town of Bushy are like 20 miles apart more. Uh, well, that's a long distance in this country. Anyway, um, his elder brother, George IV, had been Prince of Wales, had been Prince Regent when their father was um, uh, mentally indisposed. So uh, George III died blind and raving mad in um, February 1820. George um, IV had an undistinguished reign, which is why Lee Hunt said that uh, George IV had closed half a century of life without a single call upon the nation's gratitude. He had achieved nothing and he managed to make himself um, morbidly obese. So then he died in 1830, um, having had uh, well one, one daughter with his wife, Queen Caroline of, of Brunswick, and he and Caroline absolutely openly detested each other, wouldn't allow the Queen to come to his uh, uh, coronation. He hired some thugs to keep her out when she tried to come in, and um, they tried to, 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 he wanted to divorce her, didn't manage to divorce her. It was a huge scandal, accused of carrying on with a paramour, and on and on and on. They'd had one daughter, Charlotte, who'd got married and given birth, uh, and died in childbirth along with her infant. So then it was George IV, uh, when he died, his brother William IV became king, reigned for seven years. He had no children, his wife, and he died. And it was obviously, before he died, it was increasingly obvious that his niece, Victoria, was going to inherit. They had another brother, Edward, the Duke of Kent, who'd um, had one daughter, Victoria. His wife was Victoria of Saxon Coburg Salfeld. And um, uh, the Duke of Kent died when, when his daughter, Victoria, was, a, was an infant. 
So then it was very obvious that Victoria was going to inherit the crown, and she did indeed at the age of 18, was informed at Kensington Palace that her uncle, uh, William IV, had passed away. Not here, though. He only lived here for a year, um, um, as, uh, shortly before he became king. He was only here in 1826. Well, that's enough about William IV. All right, I shall carry on. Oh, sorry, we're on Charles Street, Chesterfield Street, around the corner. Um, please follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Subscribe to me, watch my YouTube channel, watch my British Poesy channel, and um, book me as your tour guide in London whenever tourism reopens, and choose online lessons with me in history, politics, geography, religious studies, French, uh, law, and uh, goodness knows what else. Uh, toodaloo.